A long time ago, there was a lot of darkness in the world. Everyone used candles as a source of light in the evenings. Candles can be very dangerous and cause fires when not well monitored. Now that you can identify an electronic device and what an electric current is, we will now learn how these devices work. Have you ever wondered how the bulb in the flashlight comes on when you push the switch? Let's have a look. Have you noticed how the electric current is moving in a particular way? For the electric current to exist, it needs a path to travel through. This path is called the circuit, and that is what we can see here now. An electronic circuit is a path made up of different components that are connected together so that the electric current can be produced. It exists in all electronic devices, and we are here to understand... We have learned a lot of interesting things in this chapter. We can identify electronic devices and we know what powers them. One more interesting thing is that the different components that make up the circuit are also called different components. There is so much more to learn and understand and you'll be doing that during your next few lessons. We hope you're as excited as we are. See you next time.